So I want to introduce you to one of our, uh, our good and proud and, and longtime members with the Stereo Barn, who will be talking to you a little bit today, uh, Mr. Charlie Bach. I'm going to start with one, one area, if that's okay, lighting control. Okay, this is probably one of the more common things that we see going into homes today. Um, and now, I'm going to preface this by saying, obviously, as you know, Stereo Barn sells and installs lighting control. There are a number of members of DHBA that do as well. So I'm not here promoting just my company or my particular brand. I'm here just representing one item. There are many suppliers in the HBA that can do these things for you. Um, we use, utilize Lutron products, and Lutron is a name you might have heard before. They're based up in Allentown in Coopersburg. They're a local family-owned business. They've been there for 50 years. They are the world's largest manufacturer and supplier of automated uh, lighting control and home control devices. So they make things as small as you can buy a single light switch. You can go to Home Depot and buy a single automated light switch. Let's say you're in the basement. In, in, in our case, we had, uh, years ago, we had a, uh, like a home theater set up in the basement. And it was a master switch at the top of the steps that turned lights on in the basement. Everybody would go down. We'd set up. We'd turn the little lights on there. We would do whatever we want. But then someone always had to run back up to the steps to turn that light out. Well, you can buy for um, as little as $130, $140. You can go to a Home Depot or a Lowe's, buy a single light switch, put it in that wall, it would come with a keypad that looks like that, and once you're at the, in the community receipt in the basement, hit a button and turn those lights off. When your movie is done and you're shutting your TV off and maybe the table lamps, hit that button, it turns them back on for you to safely get out of the steps. So lighting control can be as simple as that. Now that control can also be interfaced with a lot of remote controls that you have in the house to control your TV or your cable box or your sound system. So you could take that even a step further and pick up your remote point it, turn the TV on, turn the cable box on, turn the light out, all from that one control. These things are very possible and very, uh, very affordable. On a larger scale, uh, what we do a lot is we will replace the switches in homes. Now, I'm sorry, I'm looking at this backwards, but let's take a standard switch like this. We can replace with a program system. We can put 10 of these in your house, for example. We would likely say we would want to do the outside of your home. We want to light up the exterior of your house and maybe a pathway inside. So what's not uncommon is we would replace any switch that controls an outdoor light, porch light, driveway light, garage light, and maybe the switches that control like a pathway into your house. So now what we can do with a program system like that is we write a code that says, you know what, every night at sundown, all exterior lights come on. And you never have to think about it. And by the way, the machine is smart, so it knows that that's 4.30 in December, and it's maybe 9 o'clock in June. So this thing is keeping track. It's always going to turn those lights on at sundown. Now we can tell it, you know what, at 11 at night, let's ratchet those lights down. We don't need them on full blast, but maybe we want a little light glowing at the front door overnight or the back porch door. So we can ratchet those things down and dim them down 60%. So there's just a little glow of light out in the back. Then in the morning when the sun is coming up, it will shut them off. There's a device that connects to your garage door opener or the buttons in your car. We can program that so that when you come home, and this happens a lot, how often do you go out or you, you come home to a dark house because you just, you're out longer than you thought. And if you didn't automate your lights or have them turned on, you're coming home to a dark home. When you hit the button on the garage, and it opens the garage door, it will automatically send a signal and it will light up a pathway into your house. It'll turn your kitchen lights on, it'll light up the pathway through the mud room or the laundry room or whatever you have to go through to get into your house. So now you've gotten out of your car, you've got your arms full of groceries, you push open the door, you're not walking into a dark house. Now there, that's obviously somewhat of a safety feature, right? You're not stumbling or reaching for things, but it, there's a security aspect to it. If someone has broken into your home and they're rummaging around in your kitchen drawers, you don't want to surprise them. You don't want to find that person in your house, right? You want them gone. So when a light comes on and you're still pulling in your driveway and a light comes on out, if anybody's in there, they're going to be gone. They're going to be out the back door and that's kind of the way you want it. Uh, the more lights and the more rooms that you add to this system, the more you can automate things. So we can set up a program, for example, for entertaining. Um, or cooking in a kitchen where you have three or four sets of light loads 
maybe under counter lights, overhead lights. You can program these, and, and you're gonna have to bear with me, I'm gonna have to touch switches in here. We actually, we don't have Wi-Fi in the building. So the function from my phone, and by the way, this is true, the function from your phone or your tablet depends on a Wi-Fi signal to actually control these things. So even though I'm telling you we're gonna control this stuff in your house with a phone or a tablet in here, we're touching buttons. Okay. So for example, those lights could come on in this mode. We have a keypad that we've set up as morning mode. And in the morning, your bedroom lights can come on and it'll light up the kitchen. We can program another one for what we call entertaining, which case it's going to light up some of the other rooms in the house. Uh, we've got one called pathway, which might just be at night when you go to bed. Now maybe you have in-laws over and maybe they're going to have to get up and find a bathroom in the middle of the night. You want to keep a hallway lit just at a soft glow um, so that they don't, they don't stumble and fall. We also have... Um, anything from entertaining to all off and all on night mode when you go to bed if you want everything in the house did the kids leave the lights on in the basement is there a light on in the garage anything like that you push that one button and it will shut everything off and put it into night mode okay so these functions will happen automatically or you can operate them with from this keypad by the bed we also like to put in there two things a panic mode which is an all on mode so in the middle of the night when you hear that crash in the kitchen, which is usually a cat or something, you know, or you think you heard it, um, you can hit one button and it would light up the entire house. So now again, you can walk out and check and see what's going on without walking through a dark house. Those are some of the safety and security aspects of it. By the way, this can also be tied into security systems. So there can be a connection between your lighting, your automated lighting control system and your security system that if your alarm goes off, it will light up all the lights in your house. So if you're not home, again, alarm goes off, it'll poof, it'll just light everything up, which, which you know, creates a little extra excitement at the house. Uh, there's also now an energy uh, savings aspect to this lighting control. When you dim lights, you are reducing the amount of electricity you use. And it's not always proportional to a 10% dim gives you a 10% savings. In some cases, depending on where you are with the dimming, and the type of fixture that you're dimming, it can be more or less. But dimming lights, for example, just 10%. Now, in a lot of homes today, we're seeing these vaulted ceilings. We're seeing very expensive light fixtures with MR16 bulbs. Does everybody know what that is? Those little tiny round lights that are becoming very popular. Have you ever priced one of those to replace it? About $8 a piece. So you don't want to be replacing those little lamps as, as often as you, we used to replace the ones that we bought, you know, four for $2. Uh, by having lights on an automatic dim, let's say of 10%, you can barely see that with your own eyes, but it will extend the life of the bulb by 20%. So you, you actually get a, a, a savings on the lamp. That lamp will last 20% longer if it spends its life not burning at full output. And that's significant when, in some cases, these vaulted ceilings, you have to get scaffolding or a ladder or an electrician to replace lights, and you, you're paying a significant amount for that bulb. So the more you can automate and control lights, the more money you can save. Does anybody have any questions about lighting control or this? Yes, sir. Uh, timer functions and things like that. Mm -hmm. What happens if there's a power outage? Um, it will go through and reset. Well, obviously, if there's a power outage, the lights go out. So it can't control anything when there's no electricity for lights. But what will happen is it will reset itself. To the correct time. To the correct time, yeah. This has an, a, uh, let me see if I got this correctly, it's an anatomical clock that will always know where it is. When we set this up and program it, we put in the exact location of your home based on lat latitude and longitude. So it always knows what time it is there and it always knows what's going on with the sun. So when the power comes back on, it'll catch up very quickly. Okay. Now, in addition to being able to control all of this from your iPhone or your iPad or your other tablet or portable device, you can log into this from anywhere and control it. So you could actually be on vacation and log back into this program that's at your house and you change the lighting setting or turn a light on or what have you. And that'll tie into the security cameras that we're going to talk about in a minute.